guys? What is going on? It's Savage here. How's everybody doing today? Let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know how you're mad in 18. Ultimate teams are looking and guys today once again another 4-0 drafts and you guys seem to love the drafts and today we actually made over 100,000 coins from our draft rewards yes another 4-0 run today folks and just smack a big fat thumbs up on the button let's try to get 300 likes that would really really mean the world to me as this as the subscribers are coming in the likes are coming in the views are coming in it's looking nice the channel's growing it feels good that it's mad in season and today fellas judging by the title i have i have discovered something with just using in general not even just getting user interceptions using in general right now is by far the most important thing on a defense. Well, Sav, isn't it always the most important thing? What makes it so different right now? What makes it so unique? What makes it the game-changing ability on defense to, to potentially win a game? Well, guys, as you know, they preached to us that usering was going to be harder this year because you can't hold down triangle or Y. They preached that to us, and they said it's going to be super hard. Meanwhile, you see me coming out here in games, in these drafts, and head-to-head, -head, and seasons, getting lurks like left and right, left and right. Now, I will not lie to you guys. I will not lie to you guys that speed is a key thing for your user this year. Last year, there were so many instances of teleportation interceptions where you could be six yards away from a dude holding down triangle or Y. And if it was like Anthony Barr and his six foot five self was like six yards away from somebody, he would teleport right to the football. And you'd be like, damn it, like this is crazy. So with that being said, I've noticed something very very interesting in this gameplay and, and on other gameplays too but i really noticed it today and i haven't said anything until i 100 percent could confirm that i think usering actually increases drops and increases quarterback overthrows now hear me out right here you are going to see it quite a bit in today's video and i really really have been analyzing this i don't want to say anything for at first because i was like oh there's no way people won't even understand but I really, really, really believe that the AI actually is, is getting intelligent by the minute in Madden 18, which is why I think it is one of the most realistic Maddens overall, just because there's not many cheese plays, but I really feel like that they're pushing that real life football simulation, not a game that just has a football in it, but you can glitch play an actual football mentality and standpoint, like reading schemes, etc., etc. So and you're going to see quite a few times in this gameplay that my user is in position to potentially get an interception, but not an interception in Madden 18, an interception in Madden 17. And what I mean by that is what I said a few minutes ago, or not a few minutes ago, a couple seconds ago actually, but about the teleportation interceptions. Last year, if you were like a few yards behind the uh, receiver, you would be able to just get, you would be able to hold down triangle, turn, like literally do a 360 warp interception and play the ball for a pick. This year, if you're behind the receiver and you start spamming triangle when the ball's in the air, he might get this animation or it might actually just result in a drop or an overthrow. And here's what I mean by that. It's like the game almost knows that, hey, last year it would have been an interception, but this year, instead of making it like a 50-50 ball, because last year, sometimes the 50-50 balls would be that dumb animation where like he peanut, he like peanut punches the ball and it goes in the sky. And then it's like, oh my God, where's the ball? Where's the ball? Safety comes out nowhere, interception, and you're like, really? You're like, come on, man, that's so corny. Like that, when does a ball shoot in the sky and hang up there for 80 seconds and just lets a defender get under it? So clean interception. It's like the offensive players just go completely stupid. This year, if you're behind the receiver, and sure, it looks like you could get a user pick, but the statistics on the back of the card of the player you're using. For example, I was using Christian Kirksky today, who isn't that bad. He's only got 80 speed, though, which isn't the best, but it's definitely not the worst. So, usering him was pretty comfortable. You're going to see a couple lurks. I'm sure you've already have seen a couple lurks with Christian Kirksky. But, there's times where I'm behind the receiver, and I'll get this animation where his hand sticks out, or I'll get this animation where the quarterback overthrows the ball almost intentionally because he, it's like the quarterback knows that the user made a bad read. So instead of it being like a teleportation interception or a 50-50 ball, it's like the quarterback almost intentionally overthrows the receiver five or six yards. So that instead of it resulting in a tip drill or a pick or just a, you know, a quick catch hit fumble, it's like the quarterback almost knows, hey, I'm going to overthrow the ball. So what does that mean? What does that mean, Savage? What does this mean? If you are just running in circles on the field this year, 
with a person that's in a zone and you happen to be near the player who is catching the ball. So say you're just running in a circle in the middle of the field and a slant's coming across the middle. Say he throws it to that slant. Even if you're not even playing the ball, it's almost like if you're just in the area, the quarterback and the receiver just kind of, they, they almost intelligently don't throw it near you. It's like they'll either throw it behind them, they'll throw it way too far in front of them to where nobody can play the ball, and it's kind of interesting. And now this is where another big thing comes out. A lot of people were complaining about overthrows, and I didn't say anything about the whole entire user thing because I was noticing most overthrows happen when my user's in the area. But another thing I see a lot of people complaining about is drops. And a lot of things about the drops that I've been noticing is also literally the exact same thing with users. My user will be in the area, the receiver will in a way just let the ball hit the ground. They'll literally just, it's like in a way they're slapping it to the ground because they know, it's like almost like they know if they were to catch it and take a couple of steps, they would get rocked and fumbled. Now I'm not saying this happens all the time, but these are tendencies in the game that are starting to appear more frequently. Because the first, it's, it's, it's very interesting. I love, see this is what I love about Madden. I love to watch, I love to be good at, at video games. There's no point, because you, you can't, you can't, like, I can't go out and spend $60 on, like, Call of Duty and suck and have fun. But in Madden, to be able to go into a game and realize certain things, because I can just pick up on it like that, it'll make, it makes me a better player. And now I can, of course, come to YouTube, tell you guys about it, have you guys obviously comment down below about it and talk about it and see if you guys agree with what I'm saying, because I legitimately feel like, that sure, maybe getting a user pick might be a little bit harder because some people can't time it, but overall, just usering in a significant area, if you see like a route combination that somebody's doing over and over again, stand over there. Like if it's like a streak in a post, stand by like that post route. You might not get a hand on it, but in a way you might get an overthrow and that overthrow might end up in a safety's hands. You never... That's what's happening so much. That is one of the biggest complaints. A high post coming across the middle, your user might not quite be there and you, the quarterback might have a little bit of space to squeeze the ball, but it's almost as if when they throw the ball, the game identifies that, guess what? There's a user in this area, just to make sure it's super safe, we're gonna overthrow it. But of course the overthrow might not always be the safest move. Same with the drops. You might just be able to have to switch on and possession catch it, but I mean, sometimes you're dropping most possession catches. You're gonna see me drop literally back to back in the last game where, or the second to the last game, I forgot which game it was. Um, I threw two passes, one I possession caught, got hit literally from behind. I thought I actually caught it, it was incompletion. Then it went to fourth and 11. Next play, I had like a couple of yards with OBJ open, I rack caught it, drop. Just because there was a body in the area. And that made me think, oh my god, does it even need to be like a user? Can it be like a CPU body? If a CPU body is in the area, do they hear like the quote-unquote expression heard footsteps? Like does the actual players in the game hear footsteps? Like real NFL players sometimes, you know? You're running a route across the middle. I couldn't even imagine being an NFL player. Even if you're like, running across the middle, you, everybody, everybody's screaming and you just hear somebody coming up on you. It's going to obviously make you a little bit nervous to catch that ball because you don't know what's going to happen. You could get destroyed, get rocked. You never know what's going to happen. You never know where he's going to hit you at. So you got to brace yourself. And it's like, that is almost what Madden is incorporating into their game. Now, this is obviously huge because this is once again proving to you that Madden 18 is indeed a real football simulation game. It's not just a game with a football where cheese wins. It's a game with a football where you actually have to use knowledge of football to win. And I love that. And I know a lot of people... They try to find the glitches. There's people blitzing, trying to blitz as best as they can. Meanwhile, I'm over here running the stock Tampa 2, occasional man and some 4-4 split, not a diet, locking everybody up. I mean, sure, like I said, it's gear, bend, don't break. You see me get torched so many times on the Tampa 2. The way that the sideline routes play, if they're so glitchy right now just because of how bad the zones are, but guess what? I'll take a couple of punches because at the end of the day, I'm the one who's getting the knockout with the W's. That's why I keep going for it. No, because I'm willing to give up a 50-yard gain, gain. Because if I'm giving up a 50-yard gain, box them in the red zone, and they're only taking three while I'm taking seven every time, who's going to come out on top? The guy who scored seven every time. It's common sense. That's why I share these ideas with you. That's why I share, my, I, that's why I share what I'm thinking with you. Because there's no, obviously... You guys want to be the best at the game. There's nobody who wants to play Madden and suck. It's just facts. I'm here to at least 
instill maybe a little bit of knowledge that you if i can at least just help one person a video win four and oh or improve from maybe oh my god savage i keep going i keep only winning two if, if i can make somebody watching this video go from a two win to a three win not even a four oh i'll feel so good about myself that's why i'm here to do youtube because i can look at these things make a video about them show you guys it live so that you don't think i'm just making a video of me just rambling on and then show you me going four and oh with these with the in the exact same gameplay so I mean I, I mean obviously like I'm just here to help you guys and I hope you guys do enjoy when I do come out here and do these post commentaries because this is how I'm gonna do my Mutt Champions um videos. I'm gonna post comment them and just show you what I did for the entire weekend, show you how we did and, and all of that and stuff. But as you can see right here, gameplay is coming to an end. You're gonna see us get our 20,000 coin draft reward, but better than that, better than the 20,000 coin draft reward, we pull the goat, baby. The man from Oakland. Amari Cooper, an 80,000 coin pool, man, just for winning four games in draft. I hope you guys enjoyed over 100,000 coin profit in this draft. If you enjoyed, smack a like on the button. Comment down below if you went 4-0 and what your best pool has been. Subscribe if you're new.